Well guys, we need to start saving money. And in this video, we're gonna try and see, we show you the ways that we think we can try and save some money. And the reason why we gotta save some money is the expenses have gone up on the road. So this, this episode, we're gonna dial it in a little bit. And if you stay tuned to this video, we're gonna calculate all the savings and no savings at the end of the video. So uh, stay tuned, let's get going. What's one of the ways we can try and save money, dear? My coffees, my coffees cost a lot of money because I drink a lot of coffee. So, look, I am pretty good with making my coffees when we're parked up. But when we are traveling, I'll always buy one from like the server or a coffee shop. So, so cha-ching, start the video, $5 in the bank. Well, $6.70. Depends on, $7 no, let's 60. go on an average of $5.50. Uh, because uh, some places are more expensive than others. So I always have the super large one, so it's never under $6. Okay, $6 it is. So. Ching, we in the green, six dollars. So guys, the next thing we're gonna do, now we've had these apps for, since we left almost three years ago, but sort of, sort of never really, um, sort of never really used it, to be fair. Um, and we're gonna use the Fuel app. So we're currently, I hope you can see, we're currently obviously the little blue dot there. So we've just pulled up here so we could start the video. And we're sitting at two dollars, 39.9 cents for a litre of diesel. Now in the top right hand corner, you can actually change that to whatever you want. But we're on diesel. So we're on $2.39. So we're we're currently on our way to a camp just outside of, where are we? Grafton. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little bit of planning. So I'm gonna zoom in and here we go. Look, ooh, ooh, 235. I won't make Grafton. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to this servo, which looks like it's on the right hand side. So that doesn't really help us either because we're going down. Um, but I'm not filling up at $2.40 when I can go down the road and save four cents a litre when I'm putting about a hundred and odd, oh, must probably put about 80 litres in. Saving money, tip two. So we're at that um, servo. That was 235.9, there by brought water, 235.9. So that is a saving of 4.1 cents? Well, when we left that um, that uh, BP servo in Ballina, it was actually 240.5, I think it was, so... So the 4 cents saving. 4 cents. Plus. A litre. Now what we'll do, just making sure I'm putting diesel in, now what we'll do is we'll see how many litres it takes to go into the tank, because obviously it's going to vary, but we're gonna work it out how much we save. Oh yeah, there's a bit of a shadow. There you go. You see? Top it up, baby. All right, how'd you go? So, 70.49 liters. 4.6 cents saving. At 4.6 cents savings, I've worked it out, it's $3.20. Three dollars twenty plus yeah. six dollars earlier. So that's, that's nine dollars twenty. 20. Now yeah, that three nearly ten dollars. Now that three dollars twenty sounds might not sound like a lot, but when we, if we're doing competitive mile or com, doing so much mileage over and over and over, well that all just adds up. So let me go in and pay. Yeah, could you go and pay? So we can keep that. going. So guys, I've just noticed as well lately my oil light seems to come on for a few seconds and then goes away, but it's mainly uphill. So I'm just going to check. The oil level. That's very strange. To me, that's um. To me, that's all right. Ah, oh, gotta try and get it back in. Let's have another little look. Try and pull it out. I don't know if you can see that, but it's above that um, two dot. So it's not the oil level. It's not the oil level. So. I need to check that out. Maybe it's a faulty sensor. But um you got any thoughts or ideas, drop it in the comments. Yeah, I don't know, we'll see. That um that looks alright to me. So don't excuse the engine bay, that's still dirty from coke. Apologise in advance for the oh. unsteadiness of the camera. How are you going? Well, What's happening? We're, we're rolling into a camp called um, Lilydale Campground. Um, 
outside of Grafton. I'll put it on the screen for you. Um, we don't know the conditions of this campground because of all the rain they've had. Just by the um, condition of the road, you know, it doesn't look promising. She's pretty bouncy and a um, couple of potholes, eh? Yeah, and the last time we came, we came here, it was also it just rained pretty bad and that the creek was actually flowing so fast you couldn't actually get over there there's a gorge there's a bridge that you can drive across um, we're gonna get up and over and um, have a look and see whether we can make this home for two nights Yes, please. Here we are. Lilydale Campground. What I can see is another two people here. That's okay. But look at this water running, man. Look at it. That is flowing. You don't want to fall in that. I'll tell you that. We'll get the drone up a bit later. Hopefully we get a good sunset. It is absolutely stinking hot here. It is 31 degrees. Not a breath of wind. Can't complain with that really, can we? But we've just pulled up here. You can see got this awesome sort of area. The caravan's almost pretty level. But we'll just chock it up, get the car off. Um, you're not allowed to um, chop wood here, apparently. But as you're coming in, old mate up the top there sells a bag of wood for 10 bucks. Now, unfortunately, we don't have any cash on us. So what I'm going to do is I am going to unhitch anyway. It'll be here for two days. I might pop back to the closest place I can draw some cash, support a local bloke up the top, get some wood because I reckon Tonight is going to be absolutely fantastic. Love, you a bit hot, buddy? You a bit hot? Get you showered. Help you cool down. Poor dog. Really struggles in the heat. So we haven't used our outdoor shower before. We actually but haven't. Okay. It's the first time for everything. And Bob loves a bit of water play. So. Ooh, cool you down a little bit, he buddy. He gets to play. And he gets to cool down. Come here. That's it. That's it. Lovely knot gun he's got a HT. Bob. Bob, look at the camera. Chasing the flowers now, boy. Well, it's difficult to get a shot of this dog because he just doesn't comply. Right, come on this way. Come on. Did you get the firewood? We're down 20 bucks. But you've got to take into consideration. No, no, at this stage we're down $9. Well, I spent 20, so that's what I meant. So okay. we spent 20, but we've also saved. Let's take on average a caravan site of $45 for the night because we're at a free camp. I'll tell you what, this day has definitely brought on a thirst. Definitely brought on a thirst. There you You're go, dear. always thirsty. Oh, one for me. One for you, dear. Cheers. And um, so when you come into camp, there's a bloke selling firewood at the top. I think I might have mentioned that. But it's cash only. So I drove through to the... Um, there, we passed through like a little town and there was a pub there that had um, an ADM in it. I didn't have a beer because, well, we're trying to save money, aren't we? Otherwise, I would have snuck in a sneaky beer, but I never did. But check this bag of wood out. Oh, I bought two, because $10 each. I'll tell you what. And now the thing is, if we were really saving money, we would have cut our own. We would have cut our own, yeah. But we have a chainsaw, but because on wiki camps, it asks you not to cut wood here. So we went out and bought, because we try to comply by the rules. Well, that's, oh. That's a big bag. That's one bag of wood. Oh wow, oh. that looks like value for money. I'm gonna take it straight over the fire. Yeah, off you go. Looks like thirsty work. It's, it's definitely... I would help, but you know I got a bad back. So... It's definitely thirsty work. I tell you that. You're, you're really good at this, Howard. That's not bad for 20 bucks, eh? No, that's good for 20 bucks. And I tell you what, the wood looks nice and dry, even it's though there's so lipsy. much rain here. Some big, nice wood. See how it burns. Some big, nice wood. And, uh, we'll get that started in a minute. But now another thing is, we haven't mentioned this, we're actually crossed over into New South Wales. We have. Today. Whew. So it's five o'clock in Queensland, but it's six o'clock in New South Wales. So with that time zone of an hour, the sun will go down later, wouldn't it? It will. Because, um, you know what? Yeah. Well, hang on. Bob's in his second state. Bob's finally crossed the border. Bob is in his second state. He's a two-state dog. 
don't know what's on that wood, but we've also got a bit of a fly problem. Here we, Bob's in his uh, second state. He's born in Queensland. Picked him up in Queensland. And now we're down in New South Wales. Now, also another thing you gotta realize, is I had a look on wiki camps and he was probably asking why we're on the coast. Most, what I could see of New South Wales, most of it's um, national parks. So unfortunately for us, we, got to, we had to come in. And we've been to this camp almost three years ago, we worked it out, and nothing's changed. It's still just as good, but... Man, oh man, Look at that water, river running. Water is running. You do not want to fall in there, because I don't think it's floatable. No, even I would, um, that would be the demise of me. This sets the uh, the scene, the ambiance of uh, this beautiful camp. This is an epic campsite. Hey. Free camp, no fees. There's no water. There's no electricity. No ablutions. Well, we don't it's need that. Friendly, and um, you're literally on the doorstep to that. Look at this. Other than besides the running water there, that's making this beautiful, like just relaxing, lapping down the down the river here. It's a beautiful evening, hey? Really, really beautiful. Got our styling cap, by the way. It's Where's running beautiful, but also why? Because there's a barely any trees around. Tomorrow's weather actually looks the same as today, except a couple degrees cooler, which, you know, I won't lie to you, it, I, I'd, I'd appreciate a little bit of a cooler weather. I mean, we don't ask for much out here, but hey. Um, so, yeah, tomorrow night we're here, we'll, we'll stay here tomorrow, tomorrow night as well. Um, tomorrow's work day. I've got a lot of stuff to do as well. I've got editing to do, etc. cetera. Sue's got to jump. But what's for tea tonight? Uh, well, look, we're looking at... Um, what are we looking at? Watching what's... our budget. So, last night we had a chick from Coles with some salad and you had a chick roll with gravy. Yep. So, I think tonight we'll do some toasties. Toasties on the fire, eh? Little fire going over there. I've got plenty of wood. I'm gonna, I am must say it's not burning as good as I thought. Anyway, it's still all right. It's still making coals, but... Um, my axe needs sharpening as well. Jeez, like we need to bloody um, park up for a few weeks to get some stuff sorted. Bob is um, he's chilling. We got him a new harness. We got him a new harness over. Oh, gone out of frame, mate. Where are ya? He's running around a muck here. Everyone, the problem harness? with the, yeah, he's got a new harness. Polka dotty. Look at this. Polka dot. Hey, buddy. Oh, mate, he just doesn't sit still. He's got like ADHD, we reckon. Like an, an extreme level. Um, we actually have to tie him up because he doesn't listen. When, like if he goes off, he ain't coming back. He's no Sophie, I can tell you that. Oh, hang on a minute. Hey, buddy. Oi. Anyway. I don't think we're in a rush to do the toasties. Hey, are you yeah. in a rush? No, we'll sit and enjoy it for half an hour. An hour. I think we're gonna just sit back and um, have a few tins. Susan just poured herself a glass of wine. We're just going to sit back and just, you know, enjoy this, guys. Honestly, sunset, sunset, beautiful. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see this. Oh no. So the same thing happened last time we were here. It's obviously the area oh, we're in. Far out. And we've got the um 
the screens down, we've kept the door closed, all the screens are on and they somehow... They're coming through the door. They're coming through the door, possibly. Um, when we uh, go in and out of the door, like, look in, in a few split seconds, isn't it? Anyway, that's a clean up for you tomorrow. So, moving on to our cost saving dinner. Leftover roast chook from last Ooh. night. So I've just added a bit of mayonnaise, tomato sauce, salt, pepper, a little bit of parmesan cheese. Um, and I'm putting skin on yours because you like skin, yeah? Hey mate. Bob can have a piece Bob. of skin. Bob. Have a chicken mate. Good boy matey. Hey. You want to say hello to the viewers? He's too busy with, He's his, too chicken busy with his chicken. Moment. So chicken skin on yours. I don't know if we're going to be able to do this on the um, fire, hey. I just, um, there's no real way. I'll have a look outside and see what I can do. I'll but do it on the fire. We'll just do them on the wee bit. Uh, the... But, uh, Ziggy. The Ziggy, yeah. Or in the pan. Do them in the Ziggy. It's always nicer. Is it? Yeah. Alright. But yeah, that's for dinner tonight, guys. And, and it is now. time. 7.30. Oh, no, hang on, hang on. <laughs> and, um, so it's actually I can't get it off to change the time so we have to add an hour on to that clock every time now so it's 8 30 because we're no, in new south wales we just set the time back because everyone thinks we eat earlier oh that's true yeah because we're quite late eaters so we're actually a hot for seven <laughs> set it back another hour and everyone thinks we eat at a reasonable time job done job done right let me go out and see if i can oh um, so cost saving yeah so eleven dollars for the chicken couple of dollars for the extras you can probably work it out at under ten dollars but that would normally night. fall under our groceries anyway wouldn't yeah. it because tomorrow what we're going to do is we're going to dive into the freezer Look, look. And he loves it oh, obsessed with chicken he's actually quite good he doesn't snap at us no, huh? not when it comes to chicken hey buddy he's a good boy so what we're going to do tomorrow night is we're going to dive into the freezer over there see what we got left see what we got left i think there's a few pieces of chicken oh, in there not much there's some chicken maybe some sausage but um have we got potatoes we do have no we got potatoes, we're gonna do yeah. rice so what we're thinking about doing tomorrow is getting the camp oven out and starting the fire nice and early and possibly doing some sort of curry tomorrow night on the fire so stay tuned for that and then what we'll do too is um we'll sit around um the fire tomorrow night and just um have a yarn about um you know cost savings and etc like that and how we try and um save on the road save on the road with the inflation rising so because the inflation is rising i don't know about you guys we're currently fixed on our rental property but that's about to become unfixed for us next year june that becomes unfixed so, so possibly our mortgage goes up by almost like 15 dollars yeah so a month so the rental won't even well. cover that oh no look at this what are those things? Let's have a little Minchies. zoom in here. Minchies. What are these things? Oh, hang on. As long as we spray them before I go to sleep, because... Yeah, I don't know. Because then when they're going to die. Well, you're going to have a bit of a caravan clean up tomorrow. It's almost like we need a double door here, like a door that lets you out to a little room and then all the, the midges and that will sit in that room and then you go in and out. I'm trying an experiment. I've turned all the lights off in the caravan and I've turned the lights off, I mean on, outside the caravan and I'm thinking if they came outside in earlier for the light they might go inside out for the light. So I've put the toasted sandwiches just on some oil, oil foil. I think Derek might struggle to carry it. But beep, we'll, beep. Um, Come on, open the door. Not too long the door, eh? you got to go sort of in and out. Don't hey, the what's going on? Alright. He's managed it. I'll get him that. that. You want to pop that lid? It's dark pop out here, guys. I'm pop gonna... it. Whoa. What, are you going to flip them on the tin foil? Yeah. Have you sprayed it? No, it's not better on the bed, though. So. Okay. Let's see. It's all good. Let's just pop that closed, eh? I am starving. The fire's actually cranking, but I made the fire a bit far from the um, caravan. Yeah, the fire's far, but look at and these. Look at the oh, freaking bugs, man. Bugs. Look at it. I'm gonna have to wash the awning. We're, we're gonna have to go into a caravan park to wash them. Bloody hell! Get out! Bugger off! Move! So 
it's been um about an hour no i wouldn't say an hour, an hour. no it's been it's Half been look we're not talking porkies here i tried my experiment what was your experiment i thought they came in for the lights if i turn the lights off inside and on outside they literally out. just walked in and turned the lights on so we can eat our dinner and this is the situation they haven't gone anywhere we are going to have a huge clean up when we leave here because why we're going to the vacationer yearly muster in about well what day is a it week. a week's time and this van has got to be top notch and look at that mozzie's one sue and derek zero and just and i'm not gonna be able to sleep with that because oh geez they're everywhere look just look at this Ooh, look at this yum all right oh, now yes. we're really going to eat and go to bed see ya here we go day two we're still at Lillardale campground. Myself and Sue have had our noses in a laptop all day. Um, just getting a lot of stuff done. Sue's obviously been working, I've been editing, and um, doing a lot of stuff in the background. Um, it's come down to the time, it's now. Drink, what are you doing? I'm watching Keelan and Sarah. It's five o'clock Friday. I finished yeah. work oh. well, half past now. But finish work early, so I jump straight on and um jump straight on. Go and give them a watch too, guys. But look at Bob. Bob, you got a drinking problem, mate. Let's talk about the elephant in the room, the dog with a tinny problem. I wonder who you Hey, excuse from. me, I'm talking to you. So guys, before we like <clears throat> jump into the pot, um you won't believe today. This doesn't happen a lot. This is like the first time this has ever happened to me. But because we're making this video about how to save some money on the road and moving forward, taking what we've learned out of this video, I was on the phone to a mate and this young couple come and stand by our van and I thought maybe they were followers or something like that. But <clears throat> got off the phone. Long story short, they were so bogged and they saw I had the cruiser with a winch on it. I'm the only car here with a winch. Um, there's another couple down further down, don't have a winch. so. He's like, mate, I'm bogged. Um, do you mind coming and help me? I, I get jump in the car, I drive over. Mate, he was bogged. I didn't take any footage because I just jumped in the car and just went and go help this uh, young couple from the Gold Coast, if you're watching. Um, I hope you guys are um, all okay now. But these guys were bogged, man, and um, in the mud. And got the winch out, and after about two hours, we managed to get these guys, um, this, this young couple out. Unfortunately, I didn't even get their name. So you must probably think I'm making this up, but I'm actually not. Um, I washed the car just before we came here and it's now full of mud. Um, and Shane, they gave me 50 bucks. They gave uh, me a pineapple. They gave me a beautiful pineapple. Look at that. Um, so do you want to um, put that in the positive? So what do we do? Like, cause I made it in this video. I don't know if I'm going to make it every video, but we're 50 bucks up. So Gary's going to go <laughs> and look for people to help unlock. Yeah. Yeah, and um, guys, we've 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 been nowhere today. The, I've only just been down the down, but further down camp to help these guys. So we've spent zero money today, Zippo, and we've made the fifty bucks to help these guys out, and we've also saved another forty-five bucks for a free night at um, Lilydale. That was really kind. We wouldn't really kind. Money like I said to the, I did say to him, like, mate, don't worry about it, like. Because when I get stuck one day, hopefully someone will help me. He wasn't having And he wasn't having like, mate, don't don't worry about it. He's like, he was adamant to give me this 50 bucks. So I took it. So what have you managed to uh, so, to get out of the fridge? We have been asked on the channel to include a bit more South African cooking. So in yeah. a nutshell, I'm doing a South African curry called a Cape Malay curry. Cape Malay. It's literally chicken. That's chicken. Meant to be onion, but let's be real, we live in a caravan and I've run out, so I'm using capsicum instead of onion. Yep. It's a stock cube, peach chutney, tin tomatoes, potato. Oh, hey, 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 hey. I um, peeled those potatoes. Potatoes that Derek peeled. Yes. And yes. I chopped. You don't see me I'm very often in the kitchen, but I do And it's just a mix, and it is very simply cloves, cardamom, a cinnamon stick. It's got some coriander in it, chili, ginger, and garlic. Awesome. And a lot of salt and pepper. Um, but we're going to chuck that in the pot later. Yep. And there's a little twist with the rice that we'll show you a bit later. Yeah, she's got a little thing of the rice. So guys, saving money on the road. That's Let's a, talk turkey. It has to happen, doesn't it? Yeah. 
Well, everyone's on a fixed budget and generally a reduced budget, and the reality is everything's getting more and more expensive. I mean, we don't want to drill on too long. Three years ago, we left. It's like a dollar thirty for a liter of diesel. It's now two dollars thirty-five, two dollars forty. So that's up dollar ten cents a liter. So to fill our cruiser, that's an extra uh, over a hundred bucks to, on a tank. That's so if we got four tanks a month. That's an extra four hundred dollars, which is a lot of money. So it's a lot of money to find. Using the um, fuel app, like you saw us do, look three dollars twenty over. We worked it out. It's two hundred and thirty-three bucks a year. If you can, you know, just depending on how much savings you can get, it doesn't sound like a lot of money. Well, um, just about covers the roadside assistance. Roadside assistance. On the so, band, so, I mean, there's a bit of saving. Groceries. We like, want. I'm the grocery queen. I well, don't talk about the grocery. We are ones that we just walk into a shop and just grab whatever's on the shelf. Well, that's got to change because, like, well, we got to try and save some coins. So, well, yeah. if my husband and wife banter, that we's extended. So. I'm the one who always looks for anything that's on special and when I do price it I tend to plan the menu ahead, see what we've got, see how many nice food we've got and you got to look at meals that you can cook additional so that they stretch over to the next yeah. night. So we do a lot of chicken because chicken's value for money oh. and you know we do a lot of mince chicken mince that's also value for money so we've actually moved away from beef to chicken mince. Yeah because it's lower in fat content, but it's also cheaper on the pocket. Um, I actually eat a lot of legumes and beans instead of your proteins, because that's a saviour. And um, yeah, I think there won't be There won't be many pub stays this year. No, there won't be many pub stays and there won't be many It actually works out more expensive because like, it's free to stay if you've gone and buy a beer. So myself and Seal go and buy a beer, turns out to be one or two, three beers, and then possibly even having dinner. It actually works out more expensive. So. As much as we want to do pub stays as well, which I'm sure we will still do, but we just got to be mindful of how much we spend in the pub. I don't mind going up and spending a beer, I mean, spending the money on a beer, because that's just part of it. I understand that, but we tend to always want to stay longer than a beer, so. The other thing with just the food, I know you've gone to the sort of pub stays and the eating out, like eating out is an absolute no-go. No, because you can essentially eat for half a week of what you spend and on that's also year. another thing we try and stay away from sort of like big cities and stuff because it's easy when you go into like you know we just left brisbane and and and, and that it's just so easy you arrive you get packed up it's like oh you've been out bush for you know two three four five months oh let's just have a pizza and then the next night let's go to the pub for a palmy or palma um and it just starts adding up so that's just a no-go for us now um, you know, we've got to try and pull back. Also, alcohol on the road, it's so easy to get stuck into having beers every day. We've got to, like, not do that because it can get expensive. Yeah. I mean, like, we don't normally do it during the week, but if we're with people, you tend to do it. So yeah. we're going to try and not, like, just stick to, like, weekends like you would do at home. And I think we'll be okay. Yeah. So I work Monday to Friday, so generally they're called school nights, and we don't drink on school nights. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday Thursday, 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 yeah. But as Derek said, if there's somebody around, or you know, you're having a, a sunset drink, or there are a couple of, um, he's off lead. Hang on. The French Bulldog's loose. Grab him. Hang yeah. on. So Monday, no. Sunday through to Thursday, we don't drink at all, unless there's somebody we're having a drink with. That's the general rule, and that's a big money spinner as well. Um, accommodation, free camping obviously saves you money. We're going over to WA um, January, in a January, hopefully, and the, and the rumor is there's not much, or if any, free camping in WA, which is gonna hurt us. So we try and pull back now to try and make up. I believe like every camp over there is like 20 bucks a night. Doesn't matter if it, oh, there's no power, no water, no toilets. It's just it is what it is. Yeah. But it's a big state that we've been meaning to get to since uh, we left, but COVID obviously you can go. Uh... Stopped us three times. So this is our fourth attempt. If you do know of any free camps or good low cost yeah. camps in WA, please pop it in the comments. We will absolutely value it. Um, because yeah, that's gonna be a big money, money spender as well. Um, when it comes to the free camping, yes, it saves you. I think Derek said, you know, we're averaging Forty-five. Whether it's oh, twenty-five I don't know. It's, or forty-five it's, a night. The problem is the, the the cost has gone up. So last year, or two years ago, we stayed in Ely Beach. It was thirty-seven dollars a night at the Discovery Park. 
we went there this year so we could see me catch up with some friends and it was $60 a night and that's not even in season yeah for two adults that's no kids for a parks on a piece of ground with power and water and you're right on top of each other like it's just yeah that's yeah. where you can save money but also you got to remember that like we're not going to babble along too much on power because if you guys subscribe to our channel if you don't if you haven't yet hit the subscribe button because we're about to release, release some uh, midweek videos it's might possibly might not be every week but it's going to be hopefully on wednesday evenings and also drop in a comment what time suits you during the week because it's no use us posting at four o'clock if you're you know you're not at home and you've got kids and that's all understandable so let us know with that too but really so. keen to understand what you want to hear about as well and what you want to find out so the big costs are fuel fuel which we've covered accommodation, accommodation now. which we covered food that we've covered the other big cost is entertainment yeah so entertainment wise uh, I mean, you can make a lot of decisions when you're on the road, but generally what we tend to do is like we love just having a fire sitting, you know, alongside some form of water or a beautiful mountain. But when we do do things, we try to look for free things to do. So whether it's a walk or, you know, a low cost park, national or park, go to the beach, or go fishing, go to the or beach, something. go fishing. Um, although that's not free when yeah, you lose, but like when it's you not, lose four yeah. lures in the morning, that's not yeah. free. But yeah, it is low right. cost given the amount of entertainment it gives you. Um, but it is important when you do travel because everybody's got like a bucket list that they want to tick off. Yeah, that's true. So you have to make the funds available for the things you really want to do. Like there's a lot of things I'd like to do along the road, but unfortunately these little like things come up. Like we've got stuff stolen in a car up the cave. I would love to do a helicopter flight over Ely Beach and um, the, the Great Barrier Reef. When we go over to WA, you've got Horizontal Falls, you got You've I'd got love to get the. Tours, I'd love to get the helicopter um, to go and get crayfish and stuff like that. But anyway, we'll see how we go with that. But yeah. um, anyway, unfortunately, guys, you've got to be realistic. You've got to do what really matters to you and what yeah. really counts, and budget for that before you leave. For us, and the rest you just look around. For us, it's just been like doing this. Yeah. You know, it, it's honestly, the like hand, hand on my heart, like honestly, this is the type of stuff we like to do. Man with the pan. Jeepers, creepers, man. It's heavy ass. Right. So we're hoping this is cooked. Well, guys, I'm not going to lie to you. That smells bloody fantastic. I like a good curry, not a, what do you call those things? You like a, um. um when you use the old um, pre-mixed yeah, stuff from Coles or Woolworths. This is proper curry, this. Yeah, homemade from scratch. Wow. Well, guys, I haven't tasted this yet. Let's have a little taste. This is part where it's going to go hook oh, tight. Didn't let it cool down enough. That is amazing. Is it? Mm -hmm. There you hot. go. That's hot. <laughs> I told you. Oh. I tell you every time. Anyway, there we go. One that time. is absolutely beautiful. South African Cape Malay curry, which would be amazing with raisins and coriander. Oh, maybe even some fresh bread with some butter on it. What do you think? Raisins and fresh coriander, but you enjoy my love. All right, guys. Dinner was amazing, but we're sitting here now, uh, and we're going to tell you what we've managed to save in this video. Um, so it got was the calculator up. Got the calculator up because my mouth. Six dollars for my coffee. Six bucks for the coffee. Three bucks for the fuel. Just three round bucks, it up. Yeah, three bucks for the fuel. We spent twenty dollars on the wood, so minus twenty. And then we stay two nights at uh, Lilydale Campground. At, we're gonna just round it off to forty bucks a night for saving. Let's say thirty-five. Let's just say you can thirty-five. Get a camp up to thirty-five. So we okay, saved so it's seventy dollars plus seventy. Plus seventy, there, dear. Yep. We're not going to add in the pineapple because that's not going to happen every time. Well, yeah, okay. It won't add the pineapple in because... That was a once-off. It was a once-off. It's probably not going to happen every video. So yeah. how much did we save? $59. $59. For those two days. So, you know, it's not a lot. But if we can keep doing that, 
Well, $59, you divide that by 2 to give you a daily figure, and then you times that by 30, so it's $29.50 a day, times 30 days a month, $885. That is a big saving. And if we do that continuously, that's where we could try and save money. So the point of this video was to show you how you could possibly save some money if you're not doing it already or if you do it more often, but also it's a reflection for us to see how much money we can save ourselves. So yeah, that's I think that's a win. We're in the green and um, we just need to keep doing that because we've got an expensive week next week because uh, of the muster, but that's fine. Um, that's something we just feel like we need to do. And then moving forward, it's all about saving money for um, next year moving forward. So awesome guys, I hope you enjoyed this little uh, video on um, some, some saving tips. If you got any questions, comments, Drop them in below. Um, tune in to Wednesday's video. We're going to be doing the power system on the caravan. So you've seen in this video that we can, you know, go off grid. Uh, but you must probably be asking, like, what power system we're running the caravan. Uh, we've had it now for a while, so I've managed to get my head around it. So we, we're going to do the video on Wednesday about that. So tune in. Hit the subscribe button below. Yeah, it, you know, it's for free. And um, it just helps us, guys. And also that way you can tune in. Wednesday's video um, for for the power system but um, what a bloody great weekend we've had or a few days we've had um, but you guys take care and we'll see you on Wednesday see ya